So I think what would be helpful is, because we did get a lot of questions around, hey, what's the best thing you can do for longevity? Like if there's only one thing, you know, you have five tactics in a toolkit, but if there's one thing people should focus on, what would that be? And maybe it'd be worth just kind of giving a little piece on that, just as we set the stage on why we decided to focus on the Centenary Decathlon and kind of why you think that's so important for people's longevity journey. Yeah, I mean, look, it's an impossible question to answer because if you got a person who's sleeping four hours a night, if you don't fix that, nothing else will matter. If you have a person who's, um, you know, malnourished, you, you know, you sort of have to address these issues. But generally speaking, if everything in your life is a six or seven out of 10, taking your exercise to a 10 out of 10 is going to have a greater impact on both the length and quality of your life than any of the other domains that I can think of, perhaps with the exception of emotional health. That's one that can be, you know, such a binary thing um, that, you know, if you if you take a person who, you know, for example, like me, where, you know, that house is not in order, you know, until that's addressed, all the exercise in the world wouldn't fix that either. So it's a tough question. I, I get asked that question all the time. I wish I had a slick answer for it, but that's that's really the best I can say. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone's read the book and has a really quick 30 second answer they want to email to us that Peter can steal, <laughs> feel free to do that because we'll take it.